for you 119 okay of you handed in the work and i am sure you received your work as well i'm very sure at least i marked all of you i checked through all the work of you 119 of you who were able to work through and you did the exercise very well and then you were able to hand in two okay so i think it was uh, something which is very good which you did uh just and most of you were passing most of you were passing the work uh, and actually you were 118 eh? 118 not 19. so most of you were passing the work you understood the concepts there are just a few uh errors that i need to correct and i need to put for you across so that uh, when we are working, we basically know uh, what we are doing. So uh, I request you that um, we pay attention, check your check, check, get the work that you did in the papers, and then you start. To, actually, we are going to mark ourselves and then make the corrections as well. Eh? We are going to make the corrections from from there. Okay. So you check there, and then you see what you did in the book to compare with what we are doing right now. Now, uh, those of you who brought your work late, eh? those of you who did your work late, I have, actually I've just seen some 11 people. Those ones handed in their work late. Now, when you hand in your work late, basically you also receive it late, okay? But all those who did their work, I think he, three days, by three days, actually by Thursday last week, most of you had received your work. Most of you had received your work. So I request that when we are given an assignment, let's do it in time, okay? Let's do it in time. Don't do it at your leisure. Try to put yourself on pressure and then you complete that work and then you hand it, okay? So some of you handed in your work late. Uh, of course, when you hand in late, sometimes when I finish the book, I realized it. when I finish marking, I now finished. But after some three days, you see some people have sent in the work. So I request that once we give a deadline, we say we are handing in maybe by Sunday, make sure by Sunday, your work has been handed in, okay? So uh, we are going to check through that work and then we revise together and then we make the corrections here and there and then we'll move on for this lesson today. Um, Winnie Mugabe's hand is up. You have something to tell us, Winnie Mugabe? Yes, sir. Mm. I'm asking the question that what about us who have just joined by the beginning of this week? We don't have that revision of the work. What can we do? Okay, thank you, Winnie. Now, those of you who have just joined us, I think this lesson is going to help you to summarize, to sum up everything, okay? We are going to do a summary of whatever we did throughout. Then once we finish that, ensure that you follow that, you go to the Google Classroom. I think we shall give you illustrations, especially that those who have just come in. Eh? We shall guide you to the Google Classroom where you will access all the, all the notes that will be all the four the, the notes for the four weeks are there so you will get them there and then you can study more but what you should know we are look, we've been looking at fractions and those related i, I think then um she does she does you have something to say your hand is up shida shan unmute and talk to us all right, not there. So let's get started. Uh, let me let's share, let me share something here that we shall be able to see. Okay. I have all the work here, I think. Uh, okay. Okay. So uh, members, this is the, this is the work. Um, I, said, I said we are doing the revision, okay? We are doing revision and the revision is for, we are doing the math class. I hope there are no people who are asking us uh, which class are we in. Eh? 
This is why asking which class we are in. We are in the math class, senior one in particular. So if you're in senior five, uh, uh, we shall send you the codes, Martin, eh? don't worry. So um, we are embarking on our revision here. Yeah, we are embarking on our revision. This is what we are going to do for the work that we did. Now, I'm going to move with question by question very fast. One question at a time. Uh, this was our question number one. It had part A and it also had part two. As well, please just pay attention and then you'll ask me questions where we need to. So we have this question here that we're supposed to answer. And our answer, our question was evaluate. We are supposed to evaluate this and then we come up with one single answer. Now, what do we do when we are told to evaluate class? The first thing we need to know that when you are told to evaluate something, you are supposed to put it it's in its simplest form, okay? We are supposed to put it in its simplest form. That's what we are looking at. So look at this question, for example, what we had here, our part number one. The first thing we are supposed to do, remember here we have, remember we looked at the types of fractions, okay? We looked at types of fractions. And we had improper fractions, we had the proper fractions, and we also had the mixed fractions. And we know very well that for us to be able to carry on some functions like addition, like subtraction, like division, we must ensure that what you are working on is in, a, is in either improper form or a proper form. That is when you can start subtracting or dividing. So what does this mean? You are supposed to first start by converting every improper fraction into an improper fraction. That's the very first step we need to do. And I saw most of you doing that. So we say in step one, what we are doing, we are turning this everything into an improper. Like for example, we have this one, we have this, then this one also, we need to convert them into improper fraction. Now, for a start, let's start. We have uh, nine whole, we are going to first convert each of them together. Nine whole numbers, one out of two. Then we have three whole numbers, one out of three. Then we have also six whole numbers, one out of six. And we also have one whole number, one out of two. And I am going to ask each one, every one, each person here, or one person at a time, to give us what each of these ones is in form of improper fraction. Okay, let me have the first person. Uh, Davis Aloysius. Can you unmute Davis Aloysius? Yes, Aloysius. We get nine times two. Plus nine. one over two. Nine. Uh -huh. So nine times two. Uh -huh. Plus one. Plus one. One. Over. Over two. two. Over two. And what shall we get here? Over two. Mm -hmm. That one is 19 over two. Which is nine times two is? 18 plus one is eight, nine. 18 plus one that is 19, nine. 19 over two. 19 over two, very good. Thank you, Aloysius. Okay. Now, this is what we are doing. We looked at how we can convert this. If you want to convert a mixed fraction into an improper fraction, you get the denominator times the whole number plus the numerator, okay? We say denominator, the denominator plus the whole number, sorry, times the whole number 
plus the numerator out of the numerator out of the denominator. Okay, that's how we do that conversion. Aha, uh -huh. another person to give us the next one. Uh, yes, Chirabo. We got we said three times three. Three times three, good. Plus one. Plus one. Divide by three. Divide by three, which will be equal to? 10 out of three. 10 out of the three. three. Thank you very much, Rabo. So yep. this is what we have. Uh -huh. We got the next one. Okay, next. Uh, Winnie, Mugabe, Winnie. Uh -huh, winning next. We say six. 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 Actually, but this so, is four. Yes, this four. is four. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Six times four. Times four. Plus one. Out of. Out of. Four. Four. Uh -huh. Good. This will be equal to. Twenty-four. 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 Yeah. Six no. times four is what? Twenty-four. Plus one? Twenty-five. Twenty-five out of? Four. Out of four. Good. Thank you, Winnie. Uh -huh. We proceed to the last one. Uh-huh. Yes, Daphne. Daphne? Yes, Tisha. Uh -huh. What shall we get for this one? For one, you get mm -hmm. you get one, you get two. Two. Tisha, I'm not hearing you. Yes, we are hearing you. Time, time one. Mm -hmm. Two times one in two brackets. Mm -hmm. You you get you put two times one in the bracket. Mm -hmm. Plus one. Plus one mm -hmm. out of out uh -huh. of out of two. two. Uh -huh. So our answer will be out of four. What? Out of two. Out the of two. Three out of because will be three out of two. Thank Three you, out of two. All right. Two. Thank you. Thank you. Well. So, dear members, that is the very that is what other thing that we we looked at. Yeah, where we say that you need to carry on those conversions. So that is how we do the conversion. So you go back and take it back. Take your answer now. Take your 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 your. your Take your, we equate this one into, so this way you do the substitution. So this is equivalent to 19 out of two minus 10 out of three divided by five out of nine. All this is out of three out of five times, eh, sorry, three, yes, three out of five times 25 out of 4 plus 3 out of 2. So this is the very first step. Please, if you do not, those of you who are writing, please you can write. Huh? Those who are writing, you can write. So we are saying that that's the very first thing you need to do. Now, people had problems in, in continuing from here. Which one do we start with? Remember, we looked at, in when you recall in our primary, we looked at body mass. If we remember very well, we looked at body mass, brackets of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So when you have cases where the signs are so many, and you need to decide which one to carry on first. You follow the body mass. 
I don't know if we are clear with that. We follow the body mass. So let's solve the upper one. You solve the upper one. Let's see. Let's maybe write it somewhere here. I hope someone has written it. Someone is going to read it for us. I'm going to choose someone to read it for us because I cannot see it here. Uh huh. Can some who has written? Anyone who has written? Uh -huh. Anyone? Uh, okay, Laudia has written it. Eh? Laudia, have you written it? Laudia? Is this Jamil? Jamal? Jamal, are you there? Jamal. Okay, Jamal is not there. there. Winnie? Winnie? Yes, Winnie? Hey, people are raising up. Okay, Mugabe. How about Jetham? Okay. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. You've written yes. it, uh -huh. You read it for us. Uh -huh. It is 19. 19 out, out of, of two. Uh -huh. Minus mm -hmm. 10 out of three. Okay. Divided by five out of nine. Uh -huh. All this divided by three. Three out of five. Three out of five. Time mm -hmm. was 25 out of four. 25 out of four. Plus three Plus. out of two. Plus three, three out, of out, out of two. Out of two? Two. Three out of two. Thank you, Jethan. So we are saying, okay? So this is what we are saying, that when you're solving this, we are following the body mass, okay? Meaning, if you have any brackets, first deal with the brackets. Then if you have the O, deal with it first. If you have the division, deal with division first. Now, when you look here, we are solving the upper one first. Let's solve the upper one first together. So when you look at this upper one here, which one do you think we should solve first? Which one should we solve first? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Which one should we solve first? Uh, Anna Pauline has not spoken. Yes, Anna? Division. We solve the division first. Okay? Good. So meaning, we are going to first solve this part of the division here. Some of you were first subtracting and then they're not getting the right answers. Okay? So you need to first divide this one here first. Okay, this is the first division we are dealing with. So we are going to first say, you divide that one, 10 out of three, divide by five out of nine. Now, when we said, when you're dividing, we do what, we use what you call the reciprocal. Okay, so what do you do with the reciprocal? You say 10 out of three times nine out of five. This is the five out of nine becomes a reciprocal, okay? So when, you're, when you, you, you do the multiplication here directly, and we said when you're multiplying, you can do the, you can use the, you can reduce it down. This one by one, this one, three. This one, once, this one goes into two times. Then you multiply the numerators alone, then the denominators alone. So this will give us, Six out of one. And of course, six out of one is the same as what? It's the same as six. But you can also take it, put it out of one. Okay? So we now continue. We now say we shall have 19 out of two minus six out of one. This is what we have. We are remember as we are dealing with the numerators first. Then we shall come to the denominators. Okay, so from here, our rule for subtraction, we, we said we can use two methods. You can either use the part of trying to make numbers the same, the equivalence, 
part of it, or you can get an LCM. What's the LCM of 201? Chirabu, what's the LCM of 201? It's two. It is two. two. It is two. Okay. Okay. Um, it is two. So the LCM of two and one is two. Okay. So what we what we shall do, we shall try to so shall we shall start the division. So we say two divided by the two, we get one times nineteen, we get nineteen minus two goes into one two times times six is 12 and this will be 19 minus what is 19 minus 12 aha uh -huh. type 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 your answer type your answer type your answers 19 minus 12 type your answer type your answer type your answer aha uh -huh. people are saying it is it seven Seven or 17? Oh, okay, it is seven. So we shall have seven out of the two. That is the upper part, okay? Good. Then we move on to the lower part also. When we look at the lower part members, which one should we start with? Hmm? Remember, we are following body mass. Hmm? So when you follow body mass, brackets of division, of course, there's no division here. Okay, multiplication. But remember there was OV, and usually OV is always the same as multiplication. So you will do the multiplication first. So meaning you're going to multiply this part first alone. So when you bring it down, we shall say three out of five times 25 out of four. And our rule for multiplying is multiply numerators alone and denominators alone. And you can also reduce down, reduce your now values. So this goes into this once, five goes into uh, five once, then sorry, into 25, it goes there five times. There is no further reduction. So this will be equivalent to three times. We multiply numerators alone and denominators alone. So we shall get 15 out of four. So we get this 15 out of four, we add it to, three out of two. Mm -hmm. We get added to three out of two. So still in our addition, we say, when you are doing the addition, what do you do? You get the LCM. So what's the LCM of four and two? Type your answer. What's the LCM of four and two? LCM of four and two. Type your answer, type your answer, type your answer. It is four, 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 eight. Uh -huh. Others are saying eight, others are saying it is four. Mm -hmm. Majority are saying it is four. Okay, so the LCM is four. Okay, so four goes into four once times 15 is 15. Plus four goes into two twice. Two times three, we get six. So this will be equivalent to 15 plus six will be 21 out of the four. So here we do have our two equations, okay? We have two equations here. We have this, sorry, we have two fractions. This one is for the numerator. And then this one is for the denominator. So finally, what are you supposed to do? You now combine the numerator goes up seven out of two out of, 21 out of four. So you put it in simplest form. This is equivalent to seven out of two divided by 21 out of four. Still we use the what? The reciprocal rule to do the division. So how do you use it? We say this is equivalent to seven out of two times four out of 21. And we know what goes here once, uh -huh. then this one goes into twice. 
seven once, seven goes here three times. Multiply numerators alone, multiply denominators alone. So this will be equivalent to two, this is one times two is two. Then one times three is three. So two out of three becomes our final answer. Okay, two out of three becomes our final answer. So mark where we started from. We are using, a, we are, some of you tried to, the problem you had was, a, some people started at, at the top here. Uh, at the top here, people, people started by subtracting. And when you start by subtracting, then you divide, you'll come up with a different answer, okay? So that is what you need to do. Okay. Um, someone having a question, Nyakato and Nyangoma, you have a question? Uh, Jin? Jin, you have a question? No? Okay. Uh, Pharaoh Iris, you have a question? Is off. Uh, is Singoma Emma? Is Singoma? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. What is the question? Teacher was asked that by where we divide 10 out of 3 by five out of nine. Mm. Is, may, may I think that we first with 19 divided by two, then we divide it by five out of nine, then we subtract that, that, that 10 out of three goes with that negative. No, that is not what we do. You, when you wanted to interchange, eh? uh, you wanted to say 19 yes. out of two divided by five divided out of nine. Five out of nine. Minus yes. 10 out of three. Is this yes. what you want to say? Let me give you an yes. example. Let me give you an example. If you have five minus, you look at this five uh -huh. minus 10, hmm? Divide by, divide by, yes. divide by five. What answer do you get here? Mm. And if you also, if you say five, divide by five minus 10. Do we have the same answers here? Yes. Do you get the same answers? If you say, if you start saying five minus a 10 is five, divide by five is one. Hmm? Uh, then here, when you say five divided by five yes. is one, minus 10 is negative one. one. Have you seen? Now, when you, uh, the point I'm bringing yeah. is, when you say that you're collecting numbers uh, with the signs, what happens, you're not going to get the same answer, okay? You don't come up with the same answer. So that's yes. why we are saying, man, leave the signs wherever they are. Do not remove them, okay? Yeah. Do not remove oh. the signs where they're yes. supposed to be. Leave them where they are, and then from there, you continue working there. Now, where are you saying you collect like collecting like terms? It is only the like terms that we collect. It is like when maybe you have, oh, let me give an example. If you have maybe yes. a minus a two b plus a two a minus a three b. Here, what you do, you collect like terms. Eh? Where you say a. Yes. You bring this plus here yes. plus two a, uh -huh, then minus two b minus mm. three b. This is collecting like two terms. B. Okay, yes. but when you're doing this, we do not yes. use the collection yes. of like terms. Okay, 
Your method only works when you are collecting like terms in sort of the uh, yes. Here. Okay. I hope you've understood that. Yes. Okay, please. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh huh. Um. Any other? Any other? Any other? Any other? Any other? Uh, Chirabo Esther. So I still don't understand how you got fifteen plus six. Hey, how you got? Did we got fifteen? Okay, let's start from here. Four divided by four is what? Chirabo, we are working from here. This is what we Chapa. have. Eh? This is where we started from. Okay. Yes. Those of you who are not understanding, where did we get this 15 plus 6? We are working with this lower part here. Look at this lower one here. Okay. We started from here. Okay. And this is where we said 3 out of 5 times 25 out of 4. You reduce this one by 5 once, by 5, 5. Okay. So when you multiply 3 times 5 is 15. Out of one times four is four. Okay. Then remember how why are we doing this? Because we are following the body mass. We are doing the multiplication first. So after that, we add it to three out of two. So we say plus three out of two. So what do we do here? We said get the LCM. And we say the LCM was four. So four goes into four once. 1 times 15 is 15, plus 4 into 2, 2 times, 2 times 3, we come to 6. That's how we came to, uh, to that. Okay, so that's how we came to that point, to 3 times 6. Uh, Chirabo, I don't know if you got this. Chirabo? Yes, I have got it. Okay, thank you. Okay, so this is how we are going to, this is how we, we, we solve that. Eh? Um, Sadiq has a question. Yes, Sadiq, have a question. Okay, Sadiq is not there. Um, Let me have melody. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, melody. When you say, when you are explaining to the first person who asked the question, you say that, um, you said five minus 10 divided by five, and your answer was one. Pardon, but where, 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 which part? You rubbed it off. Mm -hmm. Yes, there you are at the point of collecting like terms. Mm -hmm. Yes, but, yeah, for you, you got the answer as th as one, but for me, when I worked it out, you got the answer as three. I got the answer as three. No, 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 that was an example where we said five. I was giving an example that if you have five hmm, minus 10 divided by five. Hmm? What's the answer here? Three. It is what? Three. Ah, uh, how are you coming to three? Then ten divided by five is two five minus. Uh -huh. two. Yes. So for you, you use the body mass, isn't it? Yes. We use the body mass and we came to three. And then if how about when you collect like time, the way your our friend was saying, our friend was saying. That for him, what he would do, you get five divided by the five, then minus the ten. Do you come to three again? What's the answer here? Negative nine. Negative nine. So that means the point I was bringing out that you are not supposed to do this. Okay. Once you have a question like this, are you together? That is yes. what I was trying to bring out. You do not move this, 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 this part of the plus and the minus. You don't move them. 
you leave them where they are and then you solve it as it is like that. That is what I was bringing up. I hope you've understood it also. Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, so um, class, let's move, let's, let's give, uh, let's try to another example. Uh, what do we carry out, when do we, we carry out rearrangement when we have anynomes, okay? Let me give, if you have anynomes, eh? when you have anynomes, then you rearrange, okay? If I give an example, if I'm having 2a, plus 3b minus 6a, uh -huh. uh, maybe plus a, sorry, plus b. What do you do in such a case? You collect and you collect like terms. This is when you collect like terms, okay? So what do you do in such a case? You say 2a, you bring this one here. This, is, this one becomes minus 6a plus 3b plus b. That's when you do this. Okay, but in these numbers, you do not do that. You, you, you use them, you maintain where they are, and then you carry in your, uh, your additions or subtractions in whatever position they are in. Okay, we have still more numbers to sort of and yet our time is running out. Eh? So, can you now do the other one? I think we can now do the other one, uh, this second one here. The second one. Huh? I think we can now do the second one, following the same principles. Okay, follow the same principles to solve this second one here. So, can I give you some, uh, how many minutes? Three minutes, two minutes actually. Let me give you two minutes. I want you to solve for me this one here, following the same principles. Two minutes, I'm starting to count right now. Uh, let me see. I'm giving you two minutes. Uh, two minutes. I want you to solve this one here, following the same principles. I want the final answer. Very fast, very fast, very fast in two minutes. Our clock is ticking. Our clock is ticking. Two minutes, two minutes. We are working. We are working. I'll follow the same principles of bone mass. Uh -huh. We are solving, we are solving, we are solving. Two minutes. I want, the, I want you to just send the answer. I want the answer, I want the answer, I want the answer for that, for B. Following the same method, following the same method. Uh -huh. We are waiting, we are solving. I want us to come up with the answer. Please, you just type your answer. Once you finish, you just type your answer. Then we confirm. Mm. We are working, we are working, we are working. I want to see the very first person. Loyalty. I'm going to write here our answers. Five, four, out of 31. That is one answer. That is an Pauline, an Pauline and loyalty. I know who loyalty is. Anna Pauline, uh, I'm also seeing uh, four whole numbers, 81 out of 93. That is Shidashana. Interesting.
Uh -huh. I'm still waiting. There's another one. Patience. Three patients has 31 out of 99. Okay. Uh -huh. Hey, the other people are still working out. Three whole numbers. Six out of 31. Hey, three whole numbers, six out of 31. I have six, two people here. Then five whole numbers. I also have two people here. Uh, there is one whole number, four out of five. Of one person. Okay. Uh huh. Any other? One whole number was the first one. Okay. So maybe let's see, help each other. How we see how we've done this. So remember, I said five, four over. I have seen another person with five, with five whole number. Uh -huh. Five whole numbers. So remember, as we say, step one: convert these ones into there. Yeah? part of the improper fractions. So here we shall have five times nine is 45 plus three is 48. So we have 48 out of five plus, uh -huh, this will be four times one is four plus that is seven out of four plus eight times three plus one, Eight times three plus one, that is 25 out of three, divided by uh, five out of nine. So we start from here. This is our starting point. Five times 30, that is 31 out of six, times uh, six out of five. So can we solve from here? Uh, where is the mistake? Where is the mistake? Where is the mistake? A singular Frank. Frank, where is the mistake? Okay, so we said A. Hey, nine times five is 45, plus three is 48 out of five. Oh, this is times, eh? Okay, this is multiplication. Good. Uh, this is multiplication. Yeah, we have multiplication. I think that's the one which singular was meaning. So this is times. Eh? Okay. Then this is also times. I hope this is fine. So can we solve this? We said we deal with division first. So first divide this. Okay. Then after dividing, multiply this one also alone. Then after that, you add the two. Mm -hmm. Can we do that together? Let's do this together. Has someone written this down? Okay. Okay, I know you've written it. Okay. So we are here. Can someone read for me? Uh, this is 48 out of five times uh, let me have Nyakato. Oh, Melody. Melody, are you there? Excuse me, teacher, I can't see. Is it everyone? You first turn off and then you come back. Remove and then come back. Eh? You'll be able to see. Melody, can you read for us? Melody? Where is Melody going? Melody?
Yes, Melody. Can you read for us? Read for us, Melody. Okay, Eric and Isaiah. Eric and Isaiah. 48 out of five. Uh-huh, then? Times seven. Times seven. Out of four. Out of four, mm -hmm. Plus? 25 out of three. Mm. Divide Wait, by mm. five out of nine. Five out of nine. Mm -hmm. All this is out of? 31. 31. Over. 31 out of six. Yes. Plus. Uh -huh. Plus what are you doing? Six out of five. Eh? Yes. Okay, sure. Thank you. So, um, members, when you are solving, we say we are using board mass. Eh? Board mass is working here first. Okay, so division comes first. That's why we do this division. Then the multiplication comes next. So the top we have, uh, we solve which 25 out of three. We do the reciprocal, nine out of five. So this will go this once, this one three times, this one once, this one five times. And this will be five times of three is 15 out of, of course this is one, eh? out of one. Then we also come to this one here. The one of 48, so we shall have 48 out of five times seven out of four, okay? Times seven out of four. So when you divide through uh, four goes into this once, then this one goes into this 12 times, okay? So this, we don't have any further reduction. So we shall have 12 times five, 12, sorry, 12 times seven, which is eight, eh? four out of, five times one, which is five. So this is what we have at the top. So meaning we are supposed to add these two here. So this will be 15 out of one plus 81, 84 out of five. So get the LCM, which is five. Five goes into five once, then five times 15, we shall get 75 plus, Five goes into this once times this, which is 84. So 75 plus 84, 75 plus 84, we shall get 159 out of five. So this will be our, our top. Uh, teacher, how do we get, okay, we shall, I'll come back to you. So we do the, the same thing, the bottom one also, 31 out of six, times six out of five. By this once, this will also be one. So this will be equivalent into 31 out of what? Out of five. I don't know if we do, I hope we did the, how are we getting the 31? We are getting this. Five times six is 30 plus one is 31. That's how we come to that, out of six. So, our final thing, we shall get 80, sorry, 159 out of five divided by 31 out of five. And we do the reciprocal, 159 out of five times five out of 31, okay? So this goes into this one, sir. Okay, then... Uh, 159 divided by 31, is it, we get something? I think it's how it's direct. So this will be equivalent to 159 out of 31, okay? So when you divide these ones, when you divide you into improper fraction, 31 divided by 150, we shall get five whole numbers, okay? Five whole numbers. So we get 155, four out of 31. 
That's how we shall come to this. How do you get 75? 75 is got from, uh, where do we get? 75 is, five goes into this five times, five times 15. That's how we come to the 75. Uh, patience. That's how we come to the 75. Okay. Please practice more and then you'll be able, but the bottom line is body mass, okay? Okay, the bottom line is body mass, okay? Right, and then the, maybe these other ones were simple, these ones were quite simple. Number two, number two are saying, Rosio loves donuts, so his friend gave him a jelly food donut for his birthday. Jelly loves really hard and takes part of the pictures. Then he cuts the giant donuts into eight pieces. So this is our donut. Eh? If this is your donut and it is being cut into eight pieces, okay, we cut it. These are four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are the eight pieces. And then Russell eats three pieces. So meaning the eaten pieces are, are three. So you shade out the eaten pieces. Okay? Eats out the three on his birthday. What fraction of the donuts does he eat on his birthday? So we said with the fraction, the total, the total is eight. Okay? And then the eaten is three. So we get the eaten three out of the eight. And that will be your answer very fast. Okay. Okay. So we shall get that. Um, hmm. Fine. Then we move on to this. We say Maria spends one out of three of, of the money her grandpa gave her on adventure books. And it spends one out of nine on bags. Okay. What fraction of the payment has she spent? So what you are doing here, you are adding this plus this, you add the fractions. Of course, when you spend one out of three, you add it to one out of nine. No, no, now they think it's simple. Remember the other method I told you of, of equivalent fractions. Multiply this by nine, up and down. Multiply this by three, up and down, okay? Then what will you get? Nine out of uh, nine times, those of nine times, this is 27 plus three out of 27. So you total, you now add the what? Maintain the denominator, which is 27, and then you add the what? You add the, you add the numerators, which will be nine plus three, which will be 12. So the fraction, that is spent is 12 out of 27. Okay, so that's how you get. The point is, you can also use the LCM. Eh? One out of three plus one out of nine, you get the LCM. It is also fine. You come to uh, one thing. Um, then this other one, when we are evaluating still, we said body mass. Eh? Body mass is our thing. So what do we do first? Multiplication. So you first multiply this. So when you multiply this, we said this, I think we don't have any reduction. So we say it is three times three, okay? Three times three, which is nine, out of five times four, which is 20. So here we shall have one plus nine out of 20. Remember, as you remember, you said when you are adding, huh? when you're adding a fraction and a whole number, this one is the same as saying one whole number, nine out of what? Nine out of 20. Hey, members, I'm moving very fast because uh, our time is, is done. Eh? Hey, why don't we reduce the previous? Please, you can reduce. Eh? Uh, someone is asking, why don't we reduce the previous? Well, you can reduce, it is okay. By three is a, by three is, is six. Then by three, you can put it out of that. Eh? It is okay. Okay, it is fine, you can reduce, there's no problem, okay? Okay, so I'm saying that when you have like a whole number plus a symbol fraction, you just combine the two and then you, you get your answer. Because if you don't, if you still add up, you're going to get 29 out of what? 
out of 20. Or other people are going to put this out of one, then you get the LOCM, then you do the subtraction and everything, you're still going to come up with one of this. Okay? Hey. So literally what we are doing here is, we are trying to work out using the body mass alongside our principles of multiplication and addition. Good. So the same thing happens here. We are still using what? But mass. Brackets of division. So we do the division first. Carry on this division first. This is where the challenge was coming in from. People were failing to know which one should I start with. So here what you do, this will be one out of one divided by one out of three. We use the reciprocal rule. So in reciprocal, we say one out of one times three out of one. And this will be equivalent to what? Three out of one. So then you get your three out of one minus it, one out of two. Okay. Um, yes, yes, yes. So we are moving. And um, I've not understood number why it's really that for. Please, with the reduce, if you can reduce a number, please do so. It is there is no problem. Even if you can reduce this one, please do so. There is no problem. So what we are saying, the rule is use the body mass. That is what I'm trying to emphasize. When you're working with fractions and you know how to add and subtract and everything, use the body mass and to uh, get out uh, clearly. So in so doing like this one, you'll get your. LCM as two goes into two, two times three is six minus two goes into this one times one is one. So this will be five out of two. That's what we'll come up with. Okay, so that's how we are expressing out our numbers in that even form. So you can also do this. You can also work out this still with board, board mass. Can I have someone doing, hey, our time is first spent. There's a number, please can you, you can also work out this one, meaning you're doing the division first. First do the division, then you come and then you do the uh, subtraction. Then there's a number which was disturbing people. I think it was this two here. Where we say, if you have such a number, X out of two plus seven is equal to 13, eh? What do you do? You first of all remove this. Uh, either you can either make the make it as a fraction, then you get the LCM, or multiply this by two, multiply this seven by two, also this one also by two. Then you will eliminate this one here. So you will remain with x plus fourteen is equal to twenty six. What am I trying to do? Some of you are doing this, six out of two plus seven minus seven is equal to 13 minus seven. Yeah? This is what most people are doing. Yeah? This is wrong. Yeah, this is wrong. And you're saying X is equal to, I think some another number then out of, then you cross multiply and you get your results. So we are saying, we try to either X out of two plus seven out of one, then you get the LCM. Yeah? LCM of this is it? two. Two goes into this once times this is X plus two goes into this two times seven is 14, which is equal to 13. So you do this out of one and then you cross multiply. So you, when you cross multiply, you're going to come to this again. So the shortest method of you avoiding to get the LCM, you multiply the two throughout on every number in the equation. Okay, on every number in the equation. We don't have the eight here. So that's how we come to, to that. So members, because of time, we may not uh, go to most of the things. Of course, when you solve this is X is equal to 14 minus 14 is equal to 26 minus 14. So this one's cross out X is equal to, when you get a 26 minus 14, you will come up with your total. Good. So, and then finally, this one here. So for this one, you get the LCM. Get your LCM, which is four. Four goes into this 
two, two times this, we get two into brackets, x minus two, plus, uh, this is the last number. Then two goes into this once, times that is that, so three minus x, and put it in brackets if you want, this is equal to eight. Hmm? So we put this out of one, then you cross multiply. If you don't want to cross multiply, just say times four, times four. You'll cross this four out and you remain with the A, this other side. So you open your brackets here. So this is two times X is two X minus two times two is four plus three minus X, which is equal to H times four, we shall get that. Eh? Now, this brings us, remember, collecting like terms. Eh? Hey, this is where we now we collect like, like terms. Okay? We collect like terms from here. So, how are you collecting your like terms? We said 2x, you see the minus moves with the x. So, 2x minus x. Okay? Then minus 4 plus 3, which is equal to 32. Okay, so 2x minus x is x minus 4, okay, plus 3, which is negative 4 plus 3. This is negative 1. So meaning it will be minus 1, which is equal to 32. So we do x minus 1 plus 1, if we, then it will be 32 plus 1. So you cross these ones out, x will be equal to 30 x will be equivalent to, x will be equal to 33. What is the main point here? Here, here what you, please we are still dealing with fractions. We are still playing around with fractions. This is the last number. Okay, we are still dealing with the fractions. So the deal is get the LCM of two and four, which will be what, four, then you divide and then you come up with your results. Dear members, this is what we need to do when we are trying to carry on with our fractions. I know we, I can, I will send, in the Google Classroom, I will send more trials. It's 33, no, it's 33, the answer is 33. Someone is saying three, X is 33. That's our answer, not three, okay? Where do we get two into that? We get two into that by dividing. When you divide them, uh, when you do the division, remember this is our, our LCM is four. Four goes, four goes into two, two times. Then we get two times this one here. That's how we come to that. Okay, dear members, I think we can stop here for now. Our time is first spent. And- uh, Hello, Teacher Jones. Yes. Thank you so much uh, for the lesson. I would like to recommend uh, to remind the learners that they should inform their parents that tomorrow we are going to have a general meeting at midday. So at midday, all the parents should join, and then they get. Uh, we are going to talk about the way forward after this particular program. So it is a master ten. Let them go and inform their parents. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Otto, for that, for that. And I want to thank you, dear learners, for being attentive. Those of you who have been, I know not everyone has been able to ask because of time. Our time was very small and we need to revise most of the things. So I know I've not talked to Jotha, Mary, uh, Elizabeth, and others. Eh? But uh, please, uh, I want you to try to uh, you know, because of time, we cannot be able to continue uh, up to this time. Maybe one more person, just one person. Uh, okay, just one person. Mary, 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 Angela. Just one person. Harry? No, okay, they are not there. So members, I want to wish you a good day and uh, Otherwise, in case you have any issue, you can always contact me and then I talk to you. Okay, good day to you all.
Yes, sir. Yes, please.